Typing in winver command. Build 10240, 64-bit. Okay then, 10240, 64-bit. Home edition. Alright, then you go to my computer. Yes, OneDrive is awesome. Control panel. And there's lots of other ways to get here. And sort by small icons. Administrative tools, services. Here's your list of services. Scroll down to W, Windows Update. And I've already disabled Windows Update, but here you can see. I've already disabled it. And I could enable it again. Or I could just keep it disabled. Here, let's turn it on and start it. Oh, and wait, now I want to disable it. Stop. And set to disabled. And this is, once again, Home Edition. Home Edition. Let's verify this through settings. The settings app. Updating the security. What is update? Error. Right? Error. So, in Home Edition of Windows 10, you can indeed completely disable Windows Update. <clears throat> and also Windows Defender. Uh, you would go to uh, go into safe mode. This isn't what this video is really about, but if you wanted to turn off Windows Defender, if you have another uh, security suite or a security suite installed, go to boot, save boot, and you do it. And then you go boot into safe mode. Go to program files. And this file right here, you just rename it. Right now you can't because it's in use. But that's how you uh, you would rename that executable, which is the main Windows Defender executable, as far as I know. There's other executives, the executables in that folder. But you cannot disable Windows Defender. It is grayed out. Windows Defender service. You cannot stop it. And you cannot change the startup type. And what's this other one? Network inspection service is also grayed out in IES serve. You may want to rename that one as well. I don't know what it does yet. But that's how you disable Windows Defender if you have another security suite like Avira, Antivira, Symantec, uh, Kapersky, etc. I should also add this. Some people have said, or someone online has said that after some time Windows, updates, Windows Update will reactivate itself. It will undisable itself or some other component, component of Windows will do that. So. Let's change the time. Let's say 2020. Change. Okay, the time is now July 31st, 2020. And you know, this is no definite proof that it won't reactivate itself because it might be some event that's triggered by an internet activity, internet ping, who knows. It's still disabled. So pretty much definitively, uh, definitively Windows Update is able to be disabled in Windows 10 Home Edition uh, until otherwise noted. That is true.